Hey guys, it's me, Jonathan Graham here. Well, I've been designing some more origamis lately, and this is the latest one. One of the latest ones. It's a little storage bin that has this cool angle on the front. This one's uh, some different sizes here. And of course, you can. here's a variation of it. It's actually a variation of the traditional Masu box, so it's not that hard to make. So to make this one, you're going to start with your your sheet of paper colored side up and fold in half uh, both ways, like this. If you know how to make the Masu box, then this will be really easy. Fold in half both ways. Now we're going to turn it over so the white side is up, and we're going to do what is called a blint space. We're going to fold the corners to the center of our square, like this. Three and four. This is what is called a blint space. Now here is where you can decide of the si depth and, and the dimensions of your of your storage bin. I'm going to be demonstrating with this one, but to make this one now, if you fold these sides to the middle, like you do a traditional Massey box, fold this to these to the center, you'll get the this variation. Now to make the standard version, we're going to be dividing this into thirds. So what we do is we simply make it into an S shape. Doesn't matter which side is up at this point. And we're going to roll the paper, make sure you can see, into thirds. Roll it in so you get it, so these edges line up. And pinch really hard. And then unfold. I'm going to make sure we have the four corners on the top and we're just going to fold it over on the crease on those pinches and then you're going to unfold this way and we're going to fold it in thirds the other way it's pretty easy because you can see where the they intersect you just bring the edge to the creases where the creases intersect with the diagonals intersect with the vertical creases and then fold this one over and there you you go you have divided your blints into thirds. Now we're going to do what I call the Masu box type fold. We're going to unfold two sides, two opposite corners, and fold these in on the existing creases. And now you can see we have, you look at it like this, you can see we have this end here. We got these diagonal, looking from the back, it looks like that. And we're going to push in here. You can see how this collapses down. It almost automatically collapses in. And then you're going to fold this flap over top on the crease, on the existing crease all the way inside. If you did that same move on this side, tuck this in, you'd have a cubic Masu box, but we're going to make the storage bin, this angle in the front. So we're going to take this valley crease, that, this angled crease, and we're going to reverse it onto a mountain crease on both sides. Now, we're going to do a sort of tricky fold. We're going to take this, we're going to make a valley fold going in this triangle from this point to this edge. And we're going to go like this and bring the two mountain creases together. So it's like this. Re repeat on the reverse on the other side. Again, I'm just going to bring this to here with a valley fold in between the two, line them, them up. So you have something like this. Now what I do is I set it on the table and I like to, you know, crease in the crease as well. And now we're almost done. You can see this existing crease. We're going to fold over on that, but first I'm going to just pinch it because you'll see what we're going to do. I'm going to hold it and sort of push down on it like this. So this and this area are flat. And as I fold this in, my crease is going to be, I'm going to extend my crease to these sides. Just like that and flatten really well and then you're just gonna reinforce the folds to make it more square and there is your completed storage bin uh, that's from a six inch square as well as this one and you can put whatever you want in them um, you may have seen plastic storage bins you can buy that are kind of the shape that stack however these ones unfortunately don't really stack but you can make a set of them in nice colors and use them for like a desk organizer for example so pretty simple variation on a traditional box um, 
I thought I'd share that with you guys and hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.